see Boo back there. Come on, Boo. Y'all give him a hand. See, in 2016, I was asking God, like, sometimes we come to these Vortex programs and we, we, we have our program together, we don't pray to that. But I ain't good when God comes in and say, no, sit them down and let the other people express themselves, amen. See, I, I'm getting blessed through this, amen. Now, how many got to thank you on the inside? And see, I thank God is just looking down on us and see how many don't give up on poisoning. Now, we was at the Falcon game, brother Craig, we were shot to the end. And go down to downtown Atlanta because I'm going to get it and party all night long. And try to make it to church on Sunday morning, amen. See the church halfway sleep, amen. Y'all get full of hell. Now, I'm going to get up here and tell you how good the Lord is. I had just got out of work. I wasn't even dressed in my shirt to be in my home here back then. She said, what are we going to do tonight? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know what's wrong with folks down the street. We're going to go on down there a little bit. Hear a little saying, we late, but it's all right. Better late than ever. But I'm just saying this to say this right here. I'm going to say it
your help comes from the Lord. Don't you get discouraged. Don't give up. Because God has never failed you yet. Am I right about it? Each and every one of you came this way for a purpose and a destiny. And I just want you to be encouraged that no matter what's going on, I told the lady right there that the battle is not hers, it's the Lord's. You ought to tell somebody, I said, the battle is not mine, but it's the Lord's. You already know who won the battle. While you lift your hands and surrender and worship with God, he's already turning around in your favor. Somebody ought to be giving God some glory right there. I just want you to, I just want to encourage you to stay humble, keep ministering, never forget what God has brought you from. God has blessed each and every one of y'all. All of y'all have an anointing over your life. Man, hey, stay encouraged, man. Keep your head, I ain't seen you in a while, but keep your head up. I don't know what you're dealing with, but God is about to bless you like never before. Seek you first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness shall be added unto you. All right, and this time we're going to ask our pastor to give our closing remarks. Y'all give it up for my overseer, District Overseer Lydia Mitchell. Let's all say praise God. Praise God. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Yes. We're getting ready to go, but we must say we are grateful to God and we thank God for each one of you that came out tonight to make us a jarble occasion for Jerome. Now, Jerome is a praying young man. He asked God, and he didn't touch heaven. Amen? When he asked God to do whatever he needed, it happened. We do praise and thank God for everybody that was blessed. This was an unusual service. It was a different service. As a brother said, God cut it out according to his will. He cut it out the way he decided to go because we don't know what we are facing on tomorrow. Even before we get home. But that's why we have to keep looking to heal. Sometimes you can feel something in your spirit. Amen. Oh, glory to God. But we just have to stay on prayer. We stay on Jesus. Just look at him and lean in on him. And he will see us too. We've got to try harder what it may seem. But praise God, you know, we're here together tonight, but we don't know. When it's going to be our last time coming to the house of God. But I appreciate some of you. I ain't seen them a while. But I thank God for everybody. We love you. God love you folks. Amen. But we're going to get ready to go. At this time. Everybody say.